This is not. This is. Oh. I watched a lot of Sorel today. For the whole day, I watched a lot of Sorel, which I, f I think I consider productive. Taking in people like that, who you want to live or who whose lives you want to live, not obviously exactly theirs, but just the kind of same energy is helpful. And I admire her everything about her are you kidding me and we're so lucky to have the internet and connect with people she's in iceland iceland and i'm like beep <laughs> i think also there's some really good upsides to the internet and being able to post videos on youtube sometimes all i think about is you no, I think it's really good. Like, I wanted to do so many things, and I'm sure we've all had the same ideas, but it's a different thing of developing the actual skill because, you know, I guess it makes sense that, like, we can't all have this skill of, you know, firsthand right away. I mean, I don't know why we can't have that skill, but it's just, like, something you have to learn because then it's more gratifying when you execute it and you make it exactly how it is in your in your mind and I think that's really rewarding and of course it filters out people who don't love it as much um, or just people who would create crappy stuff um, to the people who love it so much that they keep persisting and then finally build that skill um, because they love it so much um, and I don't even know if I love it that much I'm just trying something out and this has been something I've been wanting to do for a long time it was harder not to do than to do it and just the ability to create you know, um, but what was I saying before? Oh yeah, like um, I wanted to make a mashup uh, and this guy beat me to it and I was like really upset and like, well not really, I was, I was really upset. I like was literally that day sitting down and like learning the software, um, just like complete from not knowing anything about um, music production, let alone mixing two songs. Um, but I was like, this has been eating out my mind. This is like a million views plus YouTube video. And I sat down and I was like, wait. And I looked up like the title and he already made it like two months before. Um, and I had like millions of views, but, uh, but, and I was upset. I was like, oh, I could have had that million view, um, thing. But then I talked to my mom and she was like, um, well, he had that he has been doing this video software for a while and for, I'm sure many other people had the same idea as you and him um, and maybe someone else is upset too that they didn't get it but he, he had the um, edge, he had the slight edge or even even a huge edge to get to it faster because he was an editor. He got to it first but it's not and then I was like less upset about it because it's like well this is his benefit of working with those tools for so long and this is just the rewards that he's reaping over however many years that he had been practicing his craft so i couldn't have done it better than him so i'm not mad okay and if i could do it like him i would have done it why am i talking this for so long this was because it had literally been an idea in my head for like months um but I was also kind of relieved because I was like, oh great, now I don't have to like learn all of music production. It would be so cool if we were all the creative types. And I don't think the world would work if we were all creative types. But if just like everything that everyone thought in their minds were to be translated onto some, I guess, physical means or just like movie, song, whatever then that would be really interesting. Like, I have some friends who have like really interesting minds and like whatever their essence is or like whatever they're thinking or going through, if they could like directly, because it is such a cool thing that artists who have been in the field for years are able to do is to translate that directly into like, yeah, that's the feeling. And